we're back. Weathering the storm. Yeah. We're back, we're wet, we're ready to go. Right? <laughs> That's okay. This week we are doing the living room. We didn't yeah. win the kitchen, which was a total bummer, but we're just gonna have to bring it this week and win this one. This week's challenge brings on a reward of a $2,000 cash prize. Ah, yay. After last week's challenge, you've all spent roughly one third of your entire budget. The battle begins. The living room challenge. Living room. OK, so I've been thinking. Yeah. Leave the stairs like they are, right? Yeah. Here, mm -hmm. just coming out. Or we could turn them. Yeah. Coming out here. OK. The reason I was thinking, let's do this with the stairs, is so we have a little more room to do our fireplace. Uh, fireplace. fireplace. Yeah. Electric fireplace. Yes. Of course. I was really surprised how much they beat us up on our kitchen. I mean, our kitchen looks great. Yeah. I'm a little torn between doing the traditional thing or I mean, going taking, for it. yeah, taking some major risk and, and really going for I it. I say no pain, no gain. We go for it. We have this height yes. that's really unique. Yes. What if we build out the fireplace so it goes all the way to the ceiling? Yeah. I agree. Think yeah, about all that's that. a great idea. Tanya can definitely help us push it to the edge. Yeah. We're going to turn the stairs and give them new life by going with metal railings, wooden treads, and white risers. Our wow factor is going to be an electric fireplace that's built out and draws your eye all the way up to the ceiling. We want to create a really cozy vibe, so we're going to add lots of seating so you can relax and enjoy the beautiful beach view. This week, we're budgeting 15000 but to get it all done, we're going to have to roll up our sleeves and do a lot of the work ourselves. Oh, all right, okay. you guys, I like where you're going with it. Thank, Thank you. I'm hoping that nobody else did a fireplace. This is a competition, but at the end of the day, you have to add value. That looks Ooh. awesome. And the only way to do that is to add a permanent attached fixture. The key to opening up our living room is moving those stairs. Changed a little bit. Whoa! Right? Staircase is moved, the railing is gone, the fireplace goes from the floor to the ceiling. It's beautiful in here. I just want to get your opinion on furniture placement. This whole thing's shifting. I was thinking about an L shape, but I was thinking about putting some sort of bed underneath, but. Now that we've, now that we've moved the stairs. Yeah. I want you to tell me what you think about that. I, I prefer the L shape over the bed. Okay. So if you do an L shape, you'll go like this, mm -hmm. so you can still look out the window. Yeah. What if we put a sleeper sofa by the stairs instead? It would be amazing yeah. to curl up and enjoy that view. So cool, I love it. I love my black magic paint. The living room is finally coming together. I'm, I mean, I'm loving the black. Me too. Hey, fireplace is here. Wow. Hey. This hole, 22, mm -hmm. which is what the dimensions said was the rough opening that we needed, that's 18 and a half. Wonderful. The hole was too big. Fireplace ain't going in today. I'm just overwhelmed. Put all this energy into it and it's you find out one day you don't have a fireplace. You don't have a budget. I mean, it's just my son's in T-ball, and I'm missing his first game, and holidays, and you think you're doing good, and things like this happen, and you just question, is it all worth it? One step forward, then two steps back. I know. So I just had an emotional break. <laughs> you're allowed that but try not to let it get to you. I know. I'm going to be tough. I want you to be quitting on me. I can't. I'm not going to quit. I'm very competitive, and I, I just, that's, that's the whole problem. I want to win. Let's go for a swim. 
Come on. No, we're not going for a swim. Come on, let's go. Back to work. Let's no. go for a swim. No, we're going back to work. I'm not. You're gonna ruin my shoes. <laughs> All right, let's go win it. I know Carrie and David are stressing. Sometimes you just have to step away. I definitely needed a breather today. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, crazy. super it stressful. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is the first time you guys are sitting since this whole thing started. Right? Pretty much. This feels good. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of put it all on the line to be here, and this has been leaving our kids and yes. our business that we've built up. The unknown part of this are what the judges are going to say. Sure. Right. So all we can do is just keep thinking about the value, appeal to the masses, but be so unique and different yes. that we blow our competition yeah. away. Yeah. So let's go. Okay. We have work to do. We have a competition to win. Got us a big old chunk of wood. Beautiful piece of driftwood. And we are turning it into our mantle. Let's see if we did any good. Nobody else has that. No. This is a pretty easy fix. We just reframed it out with some extra wood. It looks like I got my fireplace. Yeah. Boys fixed it. <gasps> Boom. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, you got a drip. Really? You can go back to hanging your life. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we have light. Do you have more light bulbs? Light bulbs. <gasps> oh, oh, dude. Got it. Oh, man, there's glass everywhere. All right, guys. Another room is done. Yeah. How are you feeling? Done. Yeah. Happy. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we want to welcome back our judges, Mike Holmes and Mina Starsiak Hawk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. How we doing? Hi. Hey, guys, we're back. Ty, Allison, and Tanya, please join your team. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. How did it go this week, guys? How's everyone feeling about their living room? Good. I'm good. <laughs> we're feeling good about it. Soon, Jay and Daryl, you won the kitchen and dining battle last week. Mm-hmm. Do you really think you could do it two weeks in a row? Yes. We gave it we're, all, so we're yeah, gonna I try. think we can. We're gonna try. Well, we're gonna find out. Oh, welcome, guys. Mm. Wow. I've been feeling pretty confident about the living room. It's just gorgeous. We're going for that Mediterranean stucco feel like you'd see in Spain or... It's very clean yeah. and simple. So, before you dive right into the critique, do you notice anything glaringly different? The stairs. You move the staircase. As soon as I walked in, I went, you move the stairs. Very smart. I created another wall for seating. And for the fireplace. Yeah. You built it out. You actually gave a character to look like a huge chimney. Mm -hmm. It's electric fireplace. And the fact that it goes all the way to the ceiling just draws your attention to the ceiling height. You know, some people might have put stone tile or, or, or for that matter, even a ceramic tile all the way up, make it look old. I like the white. The success here was, was building it out and pronouncing it as a fireplace, even though it's electric. Yeah, great. So what is the reclaimed piece of furniture? Ah, yes. So we went into the antique shop and found this. It was not a mantle. It was just a piece of driftwood, and we've turned it into a mantle. It's beautiful. Whose idea was the rails? The rails. This was David's idea as well. So I love the rails. Mm -hmm. Not very happy about that one. Okay. That's not tied into structure. That's tied into a 1 by 12. Now. This is a great architectural look. Right. To me, you know, I'm, I'm playing the Play harp. Play the Spanish guitar. <laughs> the problem that I see with this is for kids. It's now climbable, which tells me that's dangerous. So as much as it looks good, it is not good when a child, especially up there, can climb that and fall to the floor downstairs. This is David's baby child right yeah. here. So I would not have done this, even though it looks good. I really love how much seating you have. You've found a really good way to 
fit more butts in seats. Yeah, um, it's all and about that's, the butt count. That's valuable. <laughs> I like it. David Carey and yourself have nailed everything on this one. And when I see the rails, that's a big downfall for me. It does beauty, and then there's a beast. And it you brings know. out the beast in me. We're gonna have to go deliberate. Yeah. We might as well go back to the beach and we'll see you there. Okay. The winner of the living room battle is... Carrie and David. <laughs>